Hi, my name is Luis Castaño with IAC's Tip of the Month. Today we want to focus the discussion on this portion of a bag house, which is called the hopper. What's not clear is that this hopper is actually a collection hopper, not a storage hopper. The way a bag house works, you've got dirty flow coming in and dust gets filtered out on the filter bags. The cleaning system takes charge of discharging this dust to the hopper. It is important that this hopper is emptied continuously. Now I've been in situations where the customer says, well the grain loading is so low that this is almost always empty. That's okay, but if, the, if it's extremely low, such that you don't get more than a bucket a day, it's okay to turn it off. Just do it every single day. Discharge every single day. If you don't, you run into problems such as material buildup here, which increases the airflow velocities here and can cause abrasion. A second problem that happens is that material builds up and gets hardened, crusted up, which then becomes a problem when you want to discharge. That's a big problem, but even a bigger problem, as a case that I visited here recently, was repeated fires on a bag house. That's obvious on combustible dust such as coal, but this also happens on metal type dust or even sawdust. Uh, there are situations or conditions that can generate self-combustion and, and, and cause a fire. So remember, the hopper is a collection hopper, not a storage hopper. And if you empty it, empty it continuously and keep it empty, the bag house will reward you with good performance. If you want to discuss this in more detail with one of our sales engineers, please give us a call. Thank you.